well time to get back on the the vlogs it's been it's been four months or so the current we're at the current junction of uh i was busy watching the playoff bucks game with brian instead of packing my bike while it was light out but uh yeah once you've packed a few bikes it's pretty easy to sort some stuff out get it in the bag and get going and other news these are my brand new industry 9 ultralight 280 race wheels we're putting on for the first time this year i will have to show you those again when it's not dark and i'm not using a headlamp in my lowe's garage cheap led lights so yeah bikes packed i've been training here in prescott for the past two weeks or so before that was up in utah but uh yeah let's see we did 28 hours last week before that 25 hours so doing the big base miles getting the form up there yeah excited to take it to the start line and see what happens and besides all that just camping seeing new places riding new trails and having friends with, having having friends having friend fun with friends oh and before that it was winter in montana and i skied my brains out nordic schemo did a, both types of racing for those that was sweet morning from the van making a little coffee here. and we're off only nine minutes all right maybe 14 minutes behind schedule but that's why we gave ourselves a buffer yeah we're gonna rock on down to the phoenix airport put her in the economy lot and hop on over to monterey made through security bags are dropped going to the gate air travels change all right we got the pacific ocean We've got the hotel room we're gonna put a bike together here and go for a little spin obviously we're here to race sea otter lifetime grand prix blah 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 but monterey aquarium is in monterey which i'm, I'm under the impression is extremely famous so obviously we gotta do that and get some seafood and jump in the ocean all right, that's one a snazzy bike. All, All put you together. social media sleuths figured out I was riding a Super Cal. Um, before we get any comments, no affiliation with Trek, just good fast race bike. And uh, yeah, needed a mountain bike for the year, and I'm ripping this thing. Envy doesn't make mountain bikes yet. Got to hit the post-flight electrolytes with a little salt stick. I don't know what to say. Other than this is just unbelievably gorgeous. Oh man, yeah. Flowers are blooming everywhere. It smells like the ocean. Waves are crashing. Sunset. Oh my god. Good you look at that. I love my mountains and rivers, but I also love seeing new beautiful places more than anything else. And as much as I love doing the same races every year, I'm pretty excited to do some new ones this year and try some new things and see some new places. A lot of Californians out here wearing winter coats. And uh, I saw full winter mittens. 57 degrees, but hey, it's all, it's all relative. No hate, no hate. Walk for a burrito complete. And yeah, gonna go do some stretching and foam roll and chill the rest of the night. Making a little black coffee AeroPress this morning. I'm not the world's biggest coffee snob, but I do not like crappy hotel coffee. So AeroPress comes on every trip and black coffee. If you don't know, it's one of my new sponsors this year, which is really a dream come true. Getting kitted up here. Castelli Premio Black jersey is pretty insane. I have custom kits on the way, but they're not going to be here till uh, May. So those are going to be pretty sweet looking. But in the meantime, I'm going to be racing in this green jersey for every event because I figure that's on brand with my uh, themes for the past two years. Right. Let's rock. All right. I thought it was going to be like a chill seven and a half miles to the course. Turns out I just went up a mountain. And I've climbed uh, about a thousand feet in six miles to get to the venue. <laughs> I might try and hitch a ride to the race tomorrow instead of riding. Although, good warm up. She sure is pretty. All right, race bike is shined up and ready to rock. Clothes are all laid out. Ride food, ready to go. I'm gonna fill these bottles, get some drink mix. This is my. Impromptu uh, transport bag instead of a whole tub of rock team. 70 miles, figuring around four, four to four and a half hours ish, maybe five. 
Um, we'll see. So 100 grams of carbs an hour means about 500 grams of carbs of chews, goos, and rock cane drink mix. Well, it's 6.30 in the morning. I just got up to go eat breakfast, and the breakfast is not going yet. Uh, so it's a slight problem. A little bit chilly, foggy morning. Rolling over to the venue now, slash also warming up. Yeah, 70 miles of racing, about 9,000 feet of climbing. Planning on four and a half to five hours of racing today. Woo! All right, post bike race, a lot of things went down. Let's see, road to the race for my warm up. Race. 70 miles, four hours and 20 minutes or so of absolutely brutal racing. Yeah, I mean, just absolutely full gas all day. <clears throat> Found some good groups, suffered, settled in, going to the second lap with Cody Cup, Adam Roberge, and um, Lexi Vermillion. Actually, our group, that, that group came together later into that lap, um, and then we stuck it out all the way to the end or so. But yeah, I mean, just... Yeah, unbelievably fast, hard racing. About eight and a half thousand feet of climbing. Then headed back, talked to some sponsors. Um, went and did a little group ride with Envy. Um, mall group ride, and that got me to about uh, six and a half hours of, excuse me, ride time for the day. And yeah, finished up 26. Um, yeah, super stacked field. Got beat by a lot of fast guys, beat lots of fast guys. Um, pretty solid early season race for me. I'd say about what I'd expect. Not perfect. Definitely could have eked out some more and would have liked a little more. But yeah, early. And we'll take this to whiskey and get after it next weekend. So now I am walking to the beach. I just missed sunset, which I'm kind of sad about. But got some in and out like every Californian should. Apparently, I think it's kind of overrated at me and I'm gonna go look at the Pacific Ocean eat the rest of this hamburger um, tomorrow back to the venue a little train ride in the morning time to go talk to more sponsors and shake babies and kiss hands oh yeah not too shabby yeah just missed the sunset which yeah a little bit of a bummer but not too bad surely watching the sunset over the Pacific Ocean while eating in and out is what every California does every night it's got to be Lance or somebody, let me know. Good morning, party people. Oakley Leron, didn't get pants on yet, but I'm making so, coffee. Gonna get some of this gas in me and go uh, go ride my bike more, then go to Seattle. I appear to have uh, ridden into the Grand Fondo. Let me tell you, tearing it up out here on the mountain bike. I did not win yesterday, but I can sure as heck try to win this Fondo. I'm kidding. I'm so tired. I'm out here on 17 mile drive. These are some of the most unbelievably beautiful houses I've ever seen. It's so wonderful and humid. It's like riding in a humidifier after being in the desert for weeks. These are desert paint brushes. My favorite wildflower is the scarlet paint brush, which we have up in Montana, but these are very similar and also one of my favorites. Jack a boat. <laughs> Because of the quick turnaround, I had to fly with my bike, which is never fun, and it's more expensive. So that meant carrying my bag, my bike from the baggage claim to the sky train, and then dragging it across the parking lot. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm tired, and that was not fun. And this is why I generally like to use bike planes. I live, I live at the Phoenix airport now. We're gonna make a little breakfast, a little coffee. That was a terrible snap. There um, we go. But yeah, then we're gonna head back up to Prescott, build this bike, go for a spin, probably shave, and then we'll be crashing in Prescott for another week, doing Whiskey 50, Fat Tire Crit this Friday, then we go up to Grand Junction, and I'll start another vlog here, whatever. You'll see that in a week. Um, 
couple of things here first and foremost yeah solid weekend in seattle great to see so many sponsors friends familiar faces i mean that's always great to do that and yeah i mean first time for me and definitely definitely a worthwhile endeavor yeah racing wise solid start about what i'd expect for the first event of the year i mean yeah really far pretty far from what i think i'm capable of in that field um and I'm definitely on a different program with cross and skiing and having winter and such things and not, you know, having done shootouts in Tucson since January. And lastly, I think you guys have probably all seen a lot of my stuff on social media, but I have new, quite a few new sponsors for this year. Um, Black Coffee Company out of Missoula, Axiom Engineering Group I will announce soon, um, Castelli, Growing With Envy, Goo is on officially in a more full capacity versus other years. Um, Joji and Salt Stick with Jess, Sarah, and Noah out of, um, from them. And Jess is up in Whitefish, puts on the last best ride. And then of course, a lot of returning partners um, that you all know and we'll see in a, probably saw on a title slide show of all my sponsors. But moral of the story is, um, I'm very grateful for all my partners who put in their time and effort and energy and sport to help me do what I do. I wake up every day and I do what I want to do for a living, which is ride my bike. And that's, I mean, as lucky as it gets. So I'm very grateful to be doing this and exploring the world and driving around in this van and seeing new places and riding new roads. And um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't trade for anything. So uh, it means a lot to me to have you following along and watching these videos and uh, everybody who's part of this, part of this endeavor and helps me uh, make it happen so I can love my life here.